Manhattan, fast food, Dakar, Sénégal, la grand-mère à l'hôpital dentaire, tout va bien, Kyrie, moi ici, toi là-bas, le visa au consulat numéro 39, y'a tant, y'a tant, à l'état civil, déjà l'an 2000, déjà 2000 ans, au Manhattan, fast food, Dakar, Sénégal, cinéma, le Paris. Bless you have been um, leaving comments and asking me to do some Indian food like curries and things like that um, and the reason that I haven't done any of them is because in my experience which is not that long they take a really long time to make and they're kind of intricate so I've sort of stayed away from it but um, I thought that I could make you dal um, lentils, um, which doesn't it doesn't take that long and isn't that complicated. So um, I'm gonna make you the dal that I grew up with, that my mum made me. Um, my mum. Can you see it? I kind of have the same lips. I think that's about it. I'm not sure though. So this is the dal that um, we grew up with. You, we had it over rice, and it was sort of your staple. She would usually make it with these red lentils. And actually, uh, Bren's aunt Sabrina just wrote to me and asked me for a way to cook these, so this is for you, Beanie. These are called red lentils, um, or masur dal is how, what we call it. And these are the yellow ones, uh, tur dal. Okay, so let's get going. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna um, sort your lentils. Um, put them out on a plate and make sure there are no pebbles or aki or anything crappy in them and get rid of it. And then, um, you want to wash it. So I'm going to do a half cup of each. And the yellow ones. Uh, once you've washed it, then um, you'll need to soak them for about a half hour. If you soak them, it will cut down some of the cooking time. So this is before. You see they're still kind of hard and plump and everything like that. And then this is the after, and you can see they've sort of gone a little paler, they look a little more delicate, and they're bigger. They've soaked up all that water. See that? They look completely different. And then while the pot's heating up, we can start um, slicing all the things that go in it. I'm just going to slice the ends off. And then you'll need four cloves of garlic. You need about a half inch piece of ginger, about that much. Cut the peel off, Let's cut it into little planks. cut it in half and then mince it. All together we have about a cup of lentils. That means we'll need about two cups of water. tomato in there, don't ya? That's it, we're just gonna wait for it to come to a boil. Okay, I know. It looks kinda yucky. I know it does. Um, that's just, I don't know why that happens. Alton Brown, help me out. The scum happens when you cook lentils. So, um, just, uh, just take it off. And then you'll turn the heat down. So turn it down from high to maybe medium low. All right, and let it sit there for about 30 minutes until, see you later, until, until the dal is kind of cooked. Woo!
Okay, so the, it's been about 30 minutes. Actually, it's been more like 40 minutes. Um, so let's just take a look. It should be done now. See? It's all kind of falling apart. Okay, I'm just seeing if it's cooked all the way through. You can add salt now. Don't add salt before you start cooking it because it'll take even longer to cook for some reason. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So, um, about, about a teaspoon of salt. There's an extra little finishing touch um, and it's very South Indian. At least that's my understanding of it. It tastes so good. It makes everything, it's just so good. <laughs> You'll need about a tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of black mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and in a separate little thing, a healthy half teaspoon of turmeric, about a half teaspoon of paprika, and then a quarter teaspoon of this crazy asafoetida stuff, or um, in Hindi, I guess it's called hing. And if you smell it, it really doesn't smell very pleasant. But once you cook it, it really has a really lovely flavor and it's especially good for um, preventing a little flatulence. I know I said it, but it's true. Go to the Indian store and get some curry leaves, some fresh curry leaves. You'll need like half a sprig. Have those ready. Oh my gosh, come over to my house and smell this. And then you'll need a couple of cloves of garlic, a lot of garlic in this. Okay, and then leave them in their wrapping. Don't take them out, they'll burn. Okay, so watch closely. This happens very quickly. Take a look, the oil is shimmering. It's hot, it's ready to go. Grab your seeds and throw them in. And they'll start sizzling. Okay. They should smell really good. Smell the cumin. It'll keep spluttering. Throw your garlic in. Give it a few seconds or whatever, and it stops spluttering, and then throw your curry leaves in. It'll really splutter. And once the spluttering subsides, add your, um, your spice powders. And they'll start to bloom in the oil. Tops, let it bloom or cook for 30 seconds. As soon as that's done, then you just pour it in. And then just finish it with a little bit of cilantro. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Yum! It tastes like home.